Good morning, beautiful. How was your night last night? Your stripes are looking good. Let's take a quick peek at them. Mmm, yes. Mmm. Uh-oh. What's up guys, welcome back. I know it's been a few days and I apologize since I've uploaded. I just simply needed a couple of days of myself. Uh, it's been pretty busy here lately and today is a busy day. I overslept a little bit and we can't be doing that because we have a lot of stuff to do and we have to fix a big mistake. Yes, mistake. Um, not something, well, maybe partially my fault because you guys know that I do my own installs on this channel and it's one of the reasons you guys all like me so very much, at least I think so anyway. But, um, you know, sometimes you pay people to do a service and they get it mostly right. But if you're kind of, I'm not going to say I'm a perfectionist, but if you're nitty picky like me, um, the little things, the little things just are, don't fly. You want everything to be perfect and that has to do with my stripes so we have to go to the store this morning we're gonna hurry because we've got a busy day and pick up some stuff to fix it and what i mean by fix it is i gotta rip them off and i gotta do it all over from basically the windshield forward so on the positive side i get to <laughs> do my own vinyl and show you guys how to do it so i hope you enjoy it uh we're gonna get through it together i had to reorder the the windshield forward and it wasn't too much for Big Worms graphics, but my installer was just a little off, and uh, I'll show you what I mean once we get back to the garage. I also want to keep you guys informed if we're doing a big subscriber meet up there in New Jersey at Gateway Classic Cars. But I'm still considering if I should drive or fly. You know, we're a couple of weeks out, and I know a lot of you guys would want to see the car, but it is also 14 hours, and we are 19,000 subscribers strong, and growing every single day and it's all thanks to you guys so definitely encourage if you like what you see here if it browse around the channel if you like what you see you know consider subscribing join the Xander 13 family I'd love to have you oh look we're at Walmart I really hate this place we're here like every day you come in here for milk and you spend like $400 I just I can't stand it but it is what it is all right you hit my door or you hit my door we're having a talk You hit the front of my car, we're gonna have a talk. Don't do it. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I need this. Yep, that'll work. No, no, I don't need that. But I need this and this. I'm stealing this. All right, last thing. I was wrong. Last thing. All right, we are door ding free. Coming to Walmart's like the stepping into the fiery pits of hell. I mean, something bad is bound to happen. You gotta love that exhaust. That coarse exhaust. I love it! Damn, another red light. The story of my life. I just want to do things fast. I want to go fast. Oh, look, we have a miracle. It turned green. All right. The day's looking up. Ah, uh, take that back. Damn you, red light. Why won't you let me go fast? Yeah, buddy. Red light, damn it! All right, we're finally back home, and this is what's going on. So we look at this stripe here. Now, Nothing against the guy that did it. He did a good job. The rest of the car is flawless, except that he started doing something a little different in the beginning and then something different in the rear. But um, up here, from here to right about there is perfect. I've already measured it before. I'm going to do it again. And that's the same thing that he did and taped it down. But uh, what I kind of suggested was you measure up there, then you measure from corner to corner, Get the thing perfect. Now what happened was he measured up there and somewhere down here it got a little bit mixed up. So there and I noticed this a couple of days ago after we did it and it means that the rest of this is going to be a little off too. So like you guys you know a lot of times when you want something done 
right, you want to do it yourself, but you got to know how to do it. So that's kind of where my channel, you know, comes into play. I like to teach. I like to show you guys how to do this, how to do that. And, uh, you know, sometimes I make, I make mistakes along the way and that's okay because you guys get to watch and learn from it. And then you don't repeat that. So let me be the guinea pig. But, you know, I decided not to be a guinea pig on this. So I went to a, a professional to do it. And uh, unfortunately, I was probably better off doing it myself. So that's what we're going to fix right now. Because the gap from like right, let's go right there to here, to right there to there. It's actually bigger on this side. And I noticed it like the day after. You know, when we first did it, you know, I was taking a step back from the car like this. And I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so good, right? And then like the next day it came up. And I'm just like, man, something's off. Something's not right because it, it just, there's curvature in the hood. So right now you can see like it curves like this, but there's more on this side than there is on that when you look at it. Um, but I got, I busted out the, the tape measure and I measured it and yes, it's off. So we have to rip all of this stuff off of the car and then fix it. I feel confident and I'm going to show you guys how to lay some vinyl stripes in this video. How about that? So I still get to teach you guys. Um, hopefully we don't mess this up because this is a big thing. It's like pretty much half of the car, uh, vinyl stripes, but, uh, we're going to dig into it. Um, I feel confident enough to do it by myself in the garage. I think I've got everything that I need and, uh, he did a dry install. I'm going to do a dry install. We're just going to prep the surface, get it nice and clean, do the same stuff, but we're going to measure the heck out of all of this before we actually do it. And I'm gonna go little by little, not big by big. We're not gonna lay it down and then try to squeeze all this stuff out. I'm just gonna go half, half seas. So this side, this side, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Let's get started. This is oddly kind of like therapeutic in a way. But hopefully we will get this right. Okay, now that we have that done, so really what you want to start off with is getting you like a, uh, with this kit, they don't want you to use a soap water mix. So I've got alcohol a little bit with mostly water. It's just diluted using distilled water and we're just going to make sure that everything that we're going to lay vinyl on is extremely clean. Just like you saw in the last video, and if you haven't, I'll link it above. Um, but you do want to do something like this. Get everything in order. It does come with instructions. Make sure you have everything side by side. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. All this stuff is marked. For example, you have this stuff. And big worms, it's all cut within like a hundredth of an inch. So it'll fit in there like that. You want to leave a little bit of overhang so you can tuck it. But once we have everything measured up, um, it should be easy, easy, easy. And what's nice is they sent me more pinstriping too, even though I didn't need it. All right, so we're going to measure every little bitty thing. And if you guys wanted to see one last look at my car with those stripes, here you go. Of course, we have them there, but. <laughs> so I'm going to do a dry install. I think that it's going to go well. What I'm going to do is get this thing somewhat where I think it's in the center. Leave a little bit of overhang, and then I'm going to measure repeatedly and then I've already got my little strips I'm gonna tape it and I'm just gonna go basically down the hood little by little on each side and we're gonna get this thing absolutely perfect you guys know how I do things in this channel I don't like to mess anything up but I have a metal you know thing we're just gonna be careful on the paint but we shall see so let me visually make sure this is good actually I'm gonna start right about here I got enough overhang it looks like I'm going to go right from the edge. This is going to take some time, so just make sure you get it right. So we're way off. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying not to touch the material here. That way I don't move it around too much, but... Okay, I have it dead center, at least between these two here, so I'm just going to go right in the center and do this guy right here. The other side. So we know, let's check it, right to the edge, there, 
And we are dead perfect. Dead perfect. Okay, so now what we're literally going to do is the same thing up top. Now here, look, check this out. I don't have enough overhang here, which means this whole thing needs to slide up a little bit. So I got to undo that, redo it, but that's okay. If we do this a hundred times, it just needs to be perfect. Okay, so I've split this in half. This is the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fold this half up, take the backing off, and then work the squeegee down, make sure it's perfect. And then I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna split my area in half is how I'm doing it. I have measured this distance right here this distance right here, that distance, and then that distance like 10 to 12 times just to get it perfect. And I think we are within a millimeter of movement. So as we look here, this is how it's gonna be. And then this distance to that distance, we're about to tackle that. If I'm good to go, I'm gonna go half seas and then we're gonna start laying vinyl. And then that should be it. It's gonna be a dry install. Uh, this does have air release technology built into the vinyl. It's one of the cool things about this, this uh, company. But you can see that we have a little bit of overhang here and that is going to allow us to tuck it underneath. And then we also have the same here. So it will tuck down like this and that is exactly what we want. You notice what I was doing, I was taking that squeegee and I'm working towards the outward edges, getting all of the air pushed out. Uh, the air release technology, basically what that is, is it's got like these air relief channels built into the back of the vinyl and it's supposed to force the air out. All right, hopefully the camera will pick this up. I wanna show you the air release technology. See all those grooves built into the vinyl? Yeah, there we go. That's how that works, just to show you. But so far, this side is looking 100%. I see zero bubbles. And I'm just being really careful right now. So I'm not going to tuck this in over here just yet. I'm going to make sure that the stripe is good. And then just be very gentle. Pulling away. Like I'm doing right now. Oh, this looks really good i totally should have just saved my money and did this myself okay now what we need to do is just flip this side over and then do the same thing but so far it is perfect all right so the nose is easy because you can pretty much line it up make sure you have enough overhang i may actually put a little bit of heat on these edges here just to tuck them make sure that they are down good to go but it is perfect other than that now, when we get down here, don't just eyeball the rest of this in. You will want to measure the crap out of this because it will be off. I guarantee it. So, you know, this is easy up here, the nose with that, but measure, 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 just like the rest of it. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna commit three, four, five hours to this job. You know, what's another 30 minutes uh, just to make sure that it is perfect. Otherwise, you're gonna have to strip it off and then redo it. But this is how it looks with black with no white pinstriping. I almost actually went with like a different color pinstripe, like a, like a very light silver just to match like the silver trim on the seats and stuff like that. And I may do that in the future, but the pinstriping is easy to take off and replace it. But the white does look good. Um, something else that we thought about doing was, and we're still thinking about the mirrors, but instead of doing the stripes on the roof, doing an actual wrap. So it'd be black with the stripes here. And then I don't know. We shall see, but this is turning out very, very well. I'll tell you that this is phenomenal. All right, for my case, I'm running their Savini's upper and from right this corner to this one is exactly 28 inches. So you divide that by two, find your center section and I'm marking it off with a piece of tape and then I'm going to align these guys up with that and go from there. But it's really not hard. Can't stress that enough. All right, again, making progress. But now the bad thing about this is if you've got some miles on your car and you have any like a little, you know, rock chips or anything like that, it's going to show through the vinyl. So unfortunately you see these right here. Uh, there's one right there. That's 
not a bubble. That is an actual imperfection in the paint. So the best time to do this, I think, is probably when you actually buy the vehicle. But down here at the bottom, easiest way to do this is if, if you've got your lower grill here, this center row of honeycomb, measure, measure, and then it's about the width of a piece of tape. But that, let's see if I get straight on it. But anyway, that's pretty much how you're going to do it. So that's pretty close right there. And yeah, so all the way up. And it's already dusty, look at that. But anyway, it's really not that bad. All right, I'm not gonna lie. The pinstriping is a pain in the butt. Uh, try not to tug it too hard when you're doing it because it will bend, but hopefully this looks to be pretty much straight. Uh, yeah, doing the big graphic was insanely easy compared to the pen striping. Uh, but, you know, it's too easy. Uh, you can just lift up on it and then get it straight and all is well. But I'm going to finish up the rest of the car. We'll come back and take a final look at it and that'll be it. All right. We're done. So let's take a peek at it. Everything is nicely tucked. And this is how we know that we're pretty close. So right there. So remember we went from the center edge to edge right there if you get what I'm saying. And that corner there matches that one. Now it just needs a bath, but that's it. All right, I feel a lot better. All right, guys, that wraps up this install. Very easy. So if you're going to install any kind of stripes on your Mustang, don't take it to a shop. It's, it's simple. I definitely recommend Big Worms graphics, um, especially with the air release technologies built in there. Don't spend the money. No, don't cheap out on like a eBay kit for like 50 bucks. Don't do that to yourself. Uh, go with something higher grade like this and just do it yourself. You know, take your time, measure, measure, measure. And you can see I didn't use a heat gun. I did not use water. I didn't use anything. I just make sure that you're on a clean surface and you'll be good to go. But other than that, that wraps up this video. Hope that it helped you out and hope that you had fun watching it. If you're new here, please subscribe, join the family. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.